To the left is the index of documents and to the right for each document you can see the print options grouped by page. For each document in fact the program automatically selects default options for printing in the standard format. After selecting the document to proceed you simply select the add button or from the local menu add print. For the added print node you can in fact in the various pages change the default options. In the general page you can define a title for the added node. Here we can define the items ranges or if you have selected the block of items print only the selected block or maybe choose a different type of arrangement. We can also select which price we want to use or even maybe choose to print without the price. We can also choose to print the financial table and any images. In the chapters and categories page you'll find the same options which allow us to include the structural summary, to print all or only some categories and other options. For price list standard, bill of quantities and work estimate documents, the plants page is also displayed with relative options for retrieving in the selected document all details making up the unit price of items defined in the plant form. In the increases and notes page you can also enter amounts or percentages for increases and decreases in the total amount. Here we can also add any notes. The various and signatures page contains options which allow us to add user start and end pages, select the columns that you want to print, define who's going to sign the document with the ability also to add other signatures to those already displayed by importing them from the general data. We can also reorder these or delete them with the delete key. We can also define which price list item descriptions to print and in what form as well as other options as well. Finally in the printer page you can define margins, page orientation, font type and properties and also the print quality. In this very effective way you can define a print configuration for each document which may also be different from one document to another or if you want to replace the default settings for each node you can select the local menu option which is save configuration. The document can also be printed to screen or directly on paper while print data can also be exported to standard formats such as ASCII, HTML, DB, DBF and RTF formats. To start printing you simply click the print button or the history button if we need to uh, obtain the preview you want to save the document in the print history page. The print preview window has special functions which are activated from the toolbar. Here we have page list, zoom functions which can also be activated with the plus and minus keys on the keyboard, the select page bar, range of pages to be printed or exported and finally buttons to send to the printer as well as export as meta files to Word we can also export in the HTML document format and in the PDF format. The last button, which is Preview, activates the page editor, which allows us to customize the document before printing. All printing functions and options just reviewed are common to all of the various types of documents listed in the index. Another powerful feature is available only for those two form nodes that you can see here, where by adding a print node activates a functional word processor. Here we can also choose a template which the program automatically compiles by replacing the program variables.